Human beings wouldn't be human if they didn't wonder about the world about them. Many thousands of years ago, when mankind was still primitive, man must have looked out of the caves and wondered about what they saw. When made the lightning flash? Where did the wind come from? Why would winter start soon, and why would all the green things die? And then why did they all come back to life the next spring? Man wondered about himself too. Why did man get sick sometimes, and why did all men get old and die eventually? Who first taught man how to use fire and how to weave cloth? There were any number of questions, but there were no answers. These were the days before science, before man had learned to experiment in order to determine the hows and whys of the universe. What early man had to do was to invent what seemed to be the most logical answers. The raging wind was like the blowing of an angry man. The wind, however, was much stronger than the breath of any ordinary man, and it had been blowing ever since man could remember. Therefore, the wind must be created by a tremendously huge and powerful man, one who never died. Such a superhuman being was a god or demon. The lightning seemed, perhaps, the huge, deadly spear of another god. Then, since arrows killed man, disease could be the result of invisible arrows fired by still another god. Since men and women married and had children, perhaps the green plants of the world were the children of the sky, a god, and the earth, a goddess. The gentle rain which made the plants grow was the marriage between them. Perhaps a goddess was in charge of the plants of the world and grew angry because of some misfortune. She might have been refused to let plants grow until things had been straightened out. That was why the green things died and winter came, and that's why the world grew green again when winter was over and spring came.